Hey, Faithway family, last Sunday was Easter morning and what a day it was here at our church. Tremendous crowd, people responded to the preaching, great music, and I'm so thankful for our worship team here at Faithway, what God has been doing over the past few months and years here at our church, truly amazing. We are gonna be continuing this Sunday morning, the life of Elijah. We've seen God do some incredible things in the life of his man. Last time we were together, uh, we saw him call down fire from heaven and he consumed the, with that fire, God consumed the sacrifice that was there on Mount Carmel. And then Elijah slew the 450 prophets of Baal. And after this great mountaintop experience with the Lord, the next thing you expect to read in the Bible is that Elijah is now leading the people of Israel in a great time of revival and a great time of spiritual revitalization that Ahab and Jezebel are getting right with God and that Israel is on the right trajectory once again. But sadly, that's not what takes place. Rather, when we turn the page in our Bible, we now see Elijah who is running in fear for his life. He's in the midst of a great spiritual depression. In fact, he's at the point in his life where he's not sure if he wants to even continue to live. Have you ever been there? I know I've gone through difficult valleys in my life, dark times when I'm wondering where is God and what's the point of continuing on? And so this Sunday morning, what we're going to do is examine the life of Elijah. We're going to see his discouragement. We're going to see his depression. And then we're going to see the Bible's cure for spiritual depression. How do we overcome the feelings of anxiety, the feelings of I can't press on, I can't continue on anymore. Believe it or not, the Bible does give us some answers. And so we're going to examine that this Sunday morning. Hope you can be here live and in person at our church at 10 o'clock. It's going to be a great day. If you can't, join us online right here and we'll make sure the service is broadcast. We're going to be looking at the life of Elijah and I hope it'll be a blessing and an encouragement to your heart.